and let's go on our second day of hanging out with Bay and see how it goes. Hey, Bebe. Hey, man. How's it going? Got a little rock salt to move. Came in early this year and like a crap load of snow shovels. Usually the distro place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weathered wizards? Yeah, that's not a bad theory. So what's up? Wanna hang out tonight? Uh, I'm working. If you wanna like, come along. I was thinking we'd go play Puppa out in Hunwick. Maybe that's actually not a bad idea. But sorry, I got work. Aw, oh, jeez. What is even the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing. So do you wanna come along or not? Let's hang out. House call. It's kind of cool to see, like, hanging out with Bay all these days instead of Greg. Can you just, like, refuse to do house calls? Nope. Why? It's called a job. People pay you to do it. Ideally, at least. You coming? There's a thing back here by the driveway. Yeah, she's an old lady. She's got weird shit in her yard. It's like a windmill. Yep. I've never been back up here before. Maybe I'll ask you now. You have now been here. It's nice. Yeah, it's just a bunch of old cabins, people turned into houses, some hunting camps. So don't let it get shot or anything. Buck season isn't for a few days, right? Well, folks get impatient. For murder. It ain't murder if it's animals. That's dark. Hold that thought. You gonna knock? Thank you for coming at such short notice. No problem. I can sleep through a four alarm fire, but that furnace. We'll take a look at it. Ever since Jean passed, I just can't abide that thumping. Understandable. Jean was such a darling man. Hey, what did you mean by hold that thought? Wait for it. I'll never forgive them for taking him away. Uh huh. Ain't like I didn't treat him right. I looked it up on the internet. He didn't smell or nothing. Wait for it. You can't take a woman's husband just because he's dead. There it is. Holy God. Took him right off that couch. It's a crime. Yeah, crime was definitely committed, all right. They just couldn't abide not being able to tax him anymore. That's what it was. Well, I won't talk your ears off about it. Come take a look at my fridge while you're here. We build by half the hour. Good job. Yeah, it's a nice fridge. What's the problem? Oh, there's no problem. It's just a classic, unoriginal Luma Freeze. Wow. They were all the rage when I was your age. They last forever. They make me feel so young. I saw one of these the other night when I got back into town. Oh, really? Where? Upside down under some logs in a creek in the ravine. So, furnace. Oh, yes. Right through here to the basement. Sounds good. Come on, man. All right. We'll be down there for a bit. Please remember not to lock us in. What? Last time we sent someone, he got locked in the basement. I assure you that did not happen. Uh, he called me from your basement. Your man did smell a bit of booze when he came by. Oh, okay. Busted. Or something. Okay, down we go. It was nice meeting you. I don't really know who you are, little person. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, I love creepy basements. And why wouldn't you? Look at all this splendor. Gee, she got a lot of junk. Maybe she's got a few more husband sacks on the corner. <laughs> Alright, let's get this done so we can go home. Hey, can I? Fish, fish, fish. Isn't it illegal to smoke indoors? It is. Well, well then, they the criminal. It's a dummy. I'm trying to quit. So I chew on this thing. What? Notice no smoke coming out? No smoke at all? But like, I've seen you smoke. Yeah, not indoors. I totally thought it was real. Dude, I did too. Where did you think the smoke was going? I thought you were swallowing it. May, do you not know how smoking works? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not a smoking scientist, Patrice. Good lord, what else don't you know? Sorry I didn't get a degree in cigarettology. What even was your major in college? Kicking ass and getting rad? <laughs> so that's the furnace? Yes, that's the furnace. I've decided his name is Clanky. Okay, you just hang out. I'm going to go fix this right quick. Don't, like, break anything. What am I going to break? This basement's full of crap. Oh, she's okay. She didn't be long. Can I help? Nope. Why am I here then? Because you wanted to come along. Just chill. Jesus, one old ass fan. It's made of metal and you could chop your finger off. Hey, 
Fish, fish, fish. Oh my nemesis, Professor Lucy's on got no more. Ah, Batman. Batman. Batman? Racket. I bet I can make something out of all this junk. Jeez. What even would have this much junk? Yeah, okay. I can see this being useful. I can see this being uh, fixed on. Okay, so we're just collecting it. This looks useful. I need your expertise to fix this to a furnished professor. Alright, so I can't carry anything else, so I'm gonna say this is enough stuff. Okay, so we got a Nor, a fishing pole, a Batman racket, and a fan. Got two wheels and a turny thing with no wheel. Probably just need to turn the turny thing to open up the heat pipes to turn up the fire. Clinky's probably got loads of heat, but he can't get out. To get Clinky all hot and bothered, we'll teach Clinky to love. I bet I could. Hmm, I think I could get. No, he could bite into the turny thing. Will or Will was. Could use a racket as a handle. Yeah, that would work. Although we're not going to always be able to hear to pull it. One good hard pull should do it. The fan could stay on, and then if it breaks, you only have to replace the fan. It should be good for the environment, too, so that's important. Let the turn bees on the mountain by Fort Lucene. Glad I remember when everyone was so mad about that. It's going to ruin the view. It's going to kill birds. You know what else is going to ruin the view and kill birds? When the meteor hits the earth because it gets too hot. That's what happened to the dinosaurs. Okay, where was I? Dinosaurs were effing rad. They had dinosaurs in the ocean, too. I'm glad I was in a fish back then. Do they have fish? Were they like dinosaur fish? No, fish or fish may get a grip. I can't believe future fish don't have to deal with this bullshit. Sharks, yeah. You get a load of piranha knees and rabies over here. Documentary guys all like, millions of years ago, the seas were full of piranha rabies and nemesis. Okay, focus, man. Making a turbine. So there's only a lot of wind down here, but like, when we stick Nomi in the ground, sorry, Nomi, put the fan on top of his flat table butt. I feel that pain, Nomi. I have one too. I tie this racket on like this. Hey, alright. I should like start a company. Sustainable garbage turbine. Okay, done. What? Okay, I fixed it. Now let's see what we got here. Yeah, we did. We? What did you do? I engineered an elegant long term solution. God damn it. Way to go, May. Please don't fix anything ever again. Like, don't even have a pet. Anything you have to maintain. Ah, freaking crap. That was totally gonna work. This is so typical. I'm going to check the exit. Wait here. Damn it. Well, we're locked in. I knew this was gonna happen. Stupid, stupid Bay. We can cut a hole in the floor. With what? Maybe she has an old saw down here. And we're gonna what? Build a heap of garbage to stand on? And saw a circle on the floor? Like a cartoon? Well, it's not with that attitude. Well, this knob is really old and loose. Maybe I can, like, figure this out. Okay, I'll look around, too. Hey, you go look around a whole bunch. Hmm. The one thing she could hear is the furnace when it was broken. Broken things need to be broken. Hmm. This is one tool I know how to use. A tool for beating ass. You piece of crap furnace. Wow, that is pretty loud. Yeah, geez. Surprised I can hear that back in town. Okay, cool. She's coming, thank God. Uh huh. Thank you, Marlette. Hey, Miss Miranda, you locked us in. <laughs> well, that was fun. Uh huh. You alright? She gave us lemonade. Yeah. You do not like lemonade? It's fantastic. Then what's up? Nothing, just tired. Worked all day. I'm all hyper. 
Good for you. Ugh, you're zero fun. Yep. You need, like, some magical shit to, like, give you a new perspective. Let me know when that happens. Wouldn't want to miss it. Firefly Whisperer or something? They just like me, I guess. That's... You're an interesting person, Ed Borowski. Then Mr. Miranda is an interesting person. And that said being interesting is all you could hope to be. Well, mission accomplished. Woohoo! You know, I had to say this would have been a much less exciting evening if you weren't along for the ride. See, I'm good that around. I mean, you can certainly beat the shit out of a furnace. I can beat the shit out of anything. You should, like, channel that aggression you always have and do something useful. Yeah, Dr. Hank said, way back, I needed to repress it. Repress, not, like, learn to deal with it. He specifically said repress. Oh, okay, hmm. So do you think Miss Miranda, like, pulled her husband's guts out? Isn't that what you do for mummies? I don't know, man. Do you think <laughs> you'd have this done for it? Nope. I probably took a lot of heart. Yep. I knew she would accept clean it to us. I get it, man. She really wrecked them. <laughs> okay, that probably stayed in place. Yeah, that should have stayed where it belongs. I'm leaving. Hey, you gotta live with your life. Bye, this is me gone. Hey, wait up. You're walking back to town. You've got a lot of gal or gall to say that. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> tell me. Another adventure with Bay done, and another drawing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Well, this is a short one, huh?